Hello everyone, my name is Parnyan Afsar. I'm a PhD candidate at IC Lab in Concordia University, Montreal, Canada, and I'm going to present our paper for the EMBC 2020. Okay, so um, the title of our research is Boost Cap, a boosted capsule network for brain tumor type classification. Uh, we have done this study with our co uh, collaborator from University of Toronto. Uh, first, I'm going to briefly introduce capsule networks, uh, which form the basis of our study. Uh, I will introduce our previous studies on brain tumor type classification via capsule networks. Uh, then I will move on to the main goal of this uh, presentation, which is boost cap. Uh, finally, I will conclude uh, this presentation and uh, give you the remaining studies. So uh, capsule networks are uh, proposed to overcome a few drawbacks of CNNs, uh, which is their inability to handle spatial relations between image instances. This means that CNNs cannot handle uh, rotation or other kinds of tra transformations in an image. And to address these drawbacks, we have to fit the network with a huge number of instances, including all the possible rotations and transformations. Uh, this is not, however, possible, uh, especially in medical imaging problems where we do not have a uh, big enough data sets. So capsule networks can overcome these drawbacks uh, through a process which is called routing by agreement. So uh, basically uh, a capsule is a group of neurons uh, that represents the instantiation parameters of a specific instance in a specific uh, location. Uh, through routing by agreement process, each capsule in a lower layer try to predict the output of the capsules in the next layer or the parent capsules. However, these predictions are not treated equally, which means that the parent capsule gives scores to this prediction based on how successful they have been in uh, predicting the actual output. Uh, so the predictions are made through a weight matrix, WIJ, which is uh, learned through backpropagation, just like a normal deep learning network. And then these predictions are scored uh, using a, a coefficient, which we call CIJ. Uh, and this CIJ is obtained based on the similarity uh, between UJI and the actual output of the parent capsule, which we refer to as SJ. Um, uh, using the basic capsule network architecture, we try to see uh, if capsule networks can uh, overcome CNNs in a medical imaging problem uh, like brain tumor classification. Uh, after exploring a few possible architectures of the capsule network, uh, we could obtain 86% accuracy uh, using one convolutional layer with 64 feature maps. We also observed that capsnets can overcome CNNs in two scenarios. The first scenario is that the model is fed with the whole brain image. And the second scenario is that the model is fed with the segmented tumor. And in both uh, scenarios, capsnet is more successful uh, compared to the CNN. Uh, but we also observed that capsnet itself has a better accuracy on segmented tumors uh, compared to the scenario when it is fed with the whole brain image. Uh, but this is not something uh, we are looking for. First, because segmenting the tumor is time consuming uh, and it can only be provided by experts. And second, the surrounding tissue that we are going to lose through the tumor segmentation contains valuable information about the type of the tumor. So um, in a follow-up study, uh, we designed another architecture which was fed with not only a whole uh, brain image, but also the boundary box of the tumor. So in this way, the network had access not only to the uh, whole brain image, uh, but also the rough boundary box of the tumor to know 
uh, on what region it should focus on, but also know the relation between the tumor and the surrounding tissue uh, within the brain. Uh, through this modified architecture, uh, we could reach an accuracy of 90%, uh, which is higher than the accuracy when the capsnet was fed with only uh, the tumor region. Uh, this 90% is also higher uh, than a modified CNN that is also fed with the tumor rough boundary box. There is still one problem that we need to address, which is the main goal of our study for the uh, EMBC 2020. Uh, that is, uh, even though capsule networks are more successful than CNNs uh, in our particular problem, we still need to explore different architectures uh, possible within the uh, capsule network architecture to find the best one that best fits our problem. Uh, this is not, however, possible. Uh, because we can have infinite number of architecture based on number of layers or a number of neurons and even the, uh, the type of the activation function. Uh, and exploring all these architectures uh, is time consuming and it requires powerful computational resources. Uh, one possible solution to uh, overcome this problem is to use a boosting approach. Uh, basically, boosting approach means that we start with a weak learner that is a basic capsule network in our problem. We train this model over and over again, but each time we give more weights to misclassified samples. And then the final prediction is the weighted average over all the prediction coming from all the weak learners based on how successful they've been uh, to predict the true class. So uh, we ended up having this architecture, uh, which we call BoostCap. Uh, through BoostCap, uh, we start with the original data. We resample this data based on the weights we have assigned to the misclassified samples. Uh, so at the beginning, when there is still no weights, uh, we just uh, uniformly resample data from the original data. Uh, the resample data is fed to the capsule network and the ca uh, class probabilities are obtained. Uh, based on the class probabilities, we calculate both the new weight to be fed to the next step of the boost cap and also the model contribution based on the accuracy in predicting the uh, true output. These model contributions are finally used to aggregate our, uh, all the outputs for the final prediction. So uh, we compared our design boost caps uh, with a simple capsule network, uh, and we observed that uh, the accuracy is significantly higher in the uh, boost cap scenario uh, compared to a simple capsule network. Uh, we had higher sensitivity for two types of the tumor, uh, and we had higher specificity for all three types of the brain tumor. Uh, we had higher AUC uh, or area under the curve uh, for one type of the tumor. Uh, and for other type of the tumor, the two approaches are on a par. So uh, through this presentation, uh, I introduced our newly designed uh, capsule network approach, which we refer to as boost caps. The boost caps is a type of capsule network ensemble uh, where we try to boost the capsule networks by uh, giving more weight to misclassified uh, samples. Uh, however, we still need to adopt higher, uh, bigger data sets uh, to further verify if our proposed model is uh, applicable in, in a clinical setting or not. Uh, and we also need to explore other kind of capsule network ensembles, such as a uh, mixture of capsule network experts. Um, and thank you for your attention. <laughs>